the next day now and you can see the flower starting to get bigger starting to open up a lot more now still got it under the grow light the grow lights tend to make it look a bit yellowy and orange when you're filming but in reality it's not actually yellow the light is a nice bright light So what I did do yesterday was I gave it a little bit of water just because it's still active and I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to get too dehydrated from producing the flower. So I've just taken it out now and put it onto the floor so it's not as bright light but not as yellowy. It's not fully open yet. It's the same day, about 1pm in the afternoon, and the flower is opened up to its maximum now. Here it is out of the grow light. And look at that beautiful flower, you can see that really tall stigma there and all of those anthers at the base surrounding the bottom of the stigma. There's the red throat, you can see it shining through. And here is the flower with my flashlight shining onto it, you can see how shimmery the petals are. What's interesting about this astrophytum is I don't know what it's a cross with and it's got spines and fluffy areoles and it's got really nice shape, really plump. So I've put it back under the grow light now and I will have a go at pollinating the flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to use my stored pollen that I've had in my refrigerator. On the label you can see I collected it in July off my Astrophyton Myriostigma. Um, two flowers I collected the pollen from. So I'm going to have a go at using this pollen to pollinate that astrophyton flower and see if it works because I've not had the pollen for too long so hopefully it should still be active. So we'll give that a go, probably today because I don't know how much longer the flower will last and it's open enough for me to get to the stigma now. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and I think the flower's open enough now to pollinate the stigma. The stigma looks to be quite receptive. So let's have a go. So here is the astrophytum stigma in the centre of the flower. And here are all the pollen on the anthers surrounding it. And I'll probably collect some of that pollen and perhaps put it into the freezer. So let's get some pollen onto the brush. So there's the pollen on the end of the brush. So I've also deposited some of the actual anthers with the pollen on the ends. You can just see them there in the middle of the stigma. Just to try and get a bit more pollen in there. And that's all we need to do. So it's just a matter of waiting now. So it's about 6pm now and I'm going to cut some of the 
pollen out of the flower to put away into the freezer. So I'll just turn the grow light off. So I want to get into the base there with my scissors and snip it off and then pop it into a plastic seal bag. And then I'll store it in a plastic tub in the freezer until next year and I'll see if it lasts all that time and if it works next time my astrophyton flowers I can cross pollinate the other flowers and see if it works. So it's the third day now of this astrophytum in flower and it's opened up to its maximum again today. It's the afternoon and because it's opened up again I'm going to be repollinating it. So the pollen that I've used to cross pollinate this is the pollen off of this cactus here when it was in double flower. You can see the stigma there. And you can see where yesterday I took some of the pollen which I collected. Um, some bits have fallen down. So I turned the grow light off just to film this cactus because it tends to look yellowy at certain angles with the camera so I've just turned one of them off. So yeah this is the third day of the flower being opened so that's great. I don't know how much longer it will last. So I don't know whether the cross pollination will work. If it does I shall do an update video. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I think this will probably be the last flower of the season. I'm so happy that it flowered because I've only had it since early August. And as you might remember when I unboxed it, the flower bud on it was very small at the time. Never expected it to go into flower in such a short space of time and in mid to late September. So thank you for watching everybody. If you enjoy videos on cactus plants, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching then. Bye!